For a word that means a peaceful submission to God, Islam is a religion that is connected to some pretty negative connotations and often seen in the media for all the wrong reasons. So, why would an educated, independent, and well traveled young Australian woman decide to convert to a religion widely considered a backwards? I get confused, looks at my fair skin, and light A's. Some Australians ask, what country I'm from, and get shocked to hear I'm Australian. Australian and Muslim? The combination is unthinkable to some. Converting to Islam hasn't been easy, I've been called names, been scrutinized, rejected and fired from jobs, lost friends and had a really difficult time with my family accepting the changes in my life. Despite the harsh and rude comments about my change in faith, including how some assume I converted for a man, I've also had people come up to me and ask me why. It's a question I'm happy to answer. My conversion to Islam was down to three main factors. This is my story and the story of the journey that led me over the course of two years to where I am now. Traveling to Malaysia was definitely the foundation for my conversion to Islam. I went there after deciding on a whim to go on student exchange, not imagining what a crazy adventure I had set myself up for. It got me out of my comfort zone and exposed to things I had never seen as a small town Australian girl from Gippsland. My eyes and mind were opened, when, as a journalism student, I did an article about Muslim women's rights. That was the beginning of everything, my mind was suddenly bursting with knowledge about Islam, and the fact that women had many rights in Islam, Muslim women were legally given rights, including divorce, land rights, monetary rights, the right to choose who to marry, etc., in the Quran, and Hadiths, hundreds of years before, Western women won the same rights. The first time I stepped into a mosque in Malaysia, I felt an immediate sense of calm and peace. The strong yet humble cry of the call to prayer invoked feelings in me I never felt before. When I first bowed my head toward the Kaaba, I felt home in my heart. I didn't convert to Islam in Malaysia. I did that over a year later, but it introduced me in a beautiful way to Islam and to the oneness of God. I was a very staunch Christian, before converting to Islam. My life as a Christian, was a focal point of my faith journey, without it I would not be a Muslim, and it was my love for Jesus, peace be upon him, that actually led me to Islam. The only difference between Christians, and Muslims is that we take Jesus to be a prophet, and not to be worshipped alongside God. Islam teaches the oneness of God, and to worship Allah alone, and we believe that, Jesus taught this himself, the term a Allah, by the way, is the Arabic word for a God, and is not just an Islamic term. Arab Christians also call God a Allah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.